High Point University considers offering a new minor or graduate certificate that has piqued the interest of many students, especially female students. Find out what that minor is next on Q News. The number of graduate students nationwide entering the workforce with a cultural and gender studies degree has increased 9.75 percent from 2018 to 2019. High Point University is polling students to see if they have an interest in minoring or earning a graduate certificate in women's leadership. I spoke to some students on campus to get their opinion on potential programs being brought to HPU. He is currently ranked number one in most innovative schools and they're not giving their title up anytime soon. Female students received an email regarding a new minor and certificate in the study of women's leadership that may be coming to HPU soon. The email explained that this could potentially be added to help prepare more women for leadership roles. Com student Allison Eiler gives insight on why this opportunity means so much to her. I think it's super cool that HPU has added um, the graduate certificate or minor in women's leadership because as a comm student, I am going into a field that is very male dominated um of course there's you know female presence there as well but i think that it is super cool to be able to have that opportunity and have that chance to um really take advantage of being a woman and being a female in a field that is typically male dominated and i think that's really great and i think it's a great opportunity for not just comm students um for any female who is going to hpu and it really can be used for any field of work or any career and i think it's a really awesome opportunity even though there is no definite decision on if women's leadership will be an approved minor and graduate certificate or not, it's created a lot of buzz around campus and even has some male students intrigued. Dalton Lucas, graduating senior, expresses why he thinks this is such a great idea. I would encourage people to get involved with the Women and Gender Studies minor and get the certificate at the end. Um, I've taken, I had the opportunity to take multiple Women and Gender Studies courses throughout my time at High Point University. And I was lucky that I actually got to do that because I had some room in my course schedule. And those are the courses that I learned, you know, probably some of the most factual and also devastating information throughout my time at High Point and it shaped me into a more well-rounded student and also community member. This new addition to the curriculum could change the way women look at going into jobs post-graduation, specifically those that are heading into more male-dominated fields. Here's Danielle on why she loves this new idea. I think it's so important that they're um, starting a new major based on women's rights. I think it's important to empower women and to have those options for students that are girls and want to learn more about women's rights. I think that's really smart to start on campus and I'm looking forward to it. Although the Women's Leadership and Graduate Certificate isn't a guaranteed program at HPU, it is something that could be a game changer. For more information, visit www.highpoint.edu or email abauer at highpoint.edu. The number of people in the gym is skyrocketing on campus and the importance of reaction time for esports players. That's up next on Q News. Welcome back to Q News. My name is David Kleinschuster and I have one question for you. How are you treating your New Year's resolutions? Are you committing to a new diet or maybe cutting some of your TV time? Well, let's see what kind of cutting is going on in Slane Gym. Point University students returning for the spring semester. Many students are taking the lifestyle initiative of New Year, New Me in the gym. We've been able to see an increase this semester because people are feeling a little bit more comfortable um, with some of those regulations as well as just New Year's resolutions. So we're definitely seeing an increase. But how does this influx of new members impact avid gym dwellers? As a personal trainer, the increase of people coming to the gym has affected the exercises that I can give my clients as well as the machines that they use. So a lot of times when I'm training a client, if a machine is taken and they still have multiple sets left to go, I'll have to find an alternative. The best way many newcomers can learn in Slam Gym is to sign up for a personal trainer. Most people who sign up for training sessions are looking to increase strength and lose weight. Most of the people that come to me for personal training are people who either don't know what they're doing and want to learn how to work out, or it's people who want to tone up, for lack of better words, or just become more confident in themselves as well as them working out. Each training session cycle lasts six weeks, with this first semesterly cycle leading right up to spring break. Our personal training numbers, actually, I'm pull it up, are through the roof. 
we had three trainers. We went from in the fall of 2021, there were 41 people that participated in our personal training program on like the first session. So from the beginning of the semester until fall break. And then we hired seven trainers and then we're able to take our number of people interested to 82. Twice the amount of people are committing to the gym since last semester, but personal training is not the only hot topic. I would say that our biggest increase has been in group exercise classes. Group X classes have also doubled in participation with options such as cycling, yoga, and several different forms of dance. There are 40 classes a week offered to sign up for. Ultimately, no matter where you are in your gym career, never be afraid to ask for help. All have started exactly where you are now. Group X classes are available to sign up for daily and you can begin registering at the rec center for the second term of personal training, which will start after spring break. And with training their muscles in the gym, others might be training their reaction speed while gaming. John Hurl has more information on eSports. The world of eSports is ever expanding, but the skill ceiling needed to compete at the highest levels keep getting higher. Let's see how important reaction time is in the Collegiate COD League. I spoke with two CCL eSports competitors to hear more about their experience. Reaction time is important in everday life. But in CCL, milliseconds can determine the difference between a championship and going home empty. Let's see how important reaction time is in esports. My name is Adam Devilish Raymond, and I'm a part of the Call of Duty and Smash Brothers esports team. Um, for Call of Duty, I'm an entry sub player. My name is Colin Moe. I play for HPU Purple COD team, and I play the main sub. Hopefully they go hand in hand. If you don't have game sense, you're going to be losing games. And if your reaction time isn't up to par either, you're going to be losing games. Um, everything can go to like a split one-on-one -on -one gunfight. If you lose that gunfight and they get the upper hand faster than you, that means that person lives and he's in a section of the map that could potentially set up a break, a flank, anything like that. Oh, that's a hard question. Um... Good game sense, I feel like, is more important because it gives you a better jump. You don't have to have as good of a reaction time. Uh, so I feel like I'd say good good game sense gives you a better jump, uh, nowhere to be, no one people are going to be there. It makes it more fluid gameplay. It's all about you know who sees who first, who gets the first shot on them because you die so quickly. Um, so that could basically mean if you don't get the first kill on them and you die first, that means that person is still in that area uh, on the map. Reaction time can change the outcome of game, whether it be a first blood or a 1v2 clutch. Devilish and Sexton have showed us that milliseconds are king. HPU's CCL team is currently ranked 20th in the country and remain undefeated. 